Band students, the most important thing we need to do on our instruments is to play with good tone. But what is tone and how can we know if we're playing with good tone? Let's find some answers to these questions. First off, tone is a quality of sound. Sound travels in waves. One measurement of a wave is how fast it repeats itself. That's called frequency. Frequency affects a sound's pitch. So a low frequency sounds like a low pitch. A high frequency sounds like a high pitch. But how does frequency affect tone? Well, when we play a note on a band instrument, it doesn't just produce a single frequency, but a whole series of them. Let's take a look at this concert F that I played on my trumpet. The first, or what we call the fundamental frequency, is about 350 hertz. And by itself, it sounds like this. It sounds like a concert F, but that's not all we're hearing from the trumpet. Now listen to the second frequency. It also sounds like a concert F, but this time an octave higher. This frequency measures 700 hertz, which is two times the first frequency. Next, let's isolate the third frequency at 1050 hertz, which is three times the fundamental. Now we hear not another concert F, but a C, an octave plus a fifth higher than the original pitch. These multiples of the fundamental frequency are called harmonics or overtones. These harmonics don't really change how we hear the pitch, but it makes the tone richer and more vibrant. What will really make it sound like a trumpet tone is when we add the full range of harmonics produced by the instrument. This mix of frequencies is what gives each band instrument its unique tone, because each instrument creates its own mix of frequencies. For example, flute has a more pure tone with fewer harmonics. But in general, to play with our best tone, we want to make the mix of frequencies as rich, vibrant, and resonant as possible. One way to think about accomplishing this is to eliminate anything that's keeping those harmonic frequencies from resonating, which could be tight airways, a bad read, even incorrect percussion technique. Make the adjustments to get your instrument vibrating freely and producing a beautiful, rich tone quality. In another video, we'll talk about the relationship between tone and intonation and how playing in tune goes hand in hand with producing our best tone quality. For more band tutorials, visit amplifiedwarmups.com/tutorials. Thanks for watching.